broke out in South Sudan's central equatorial state, 35-year-old Rachel Kemisa fled her homeland and found her way to Imvepi refugee settlement in Arua district in April 2017. As a mother of two, she could not sit back and see her children miss out on an education because of a language barrier. When I joined, indeed there was a problem why there was a language variety. They, they had a difficulty in learning the, the language which people use here. That's why I say let me also pick a step and start to teach these children in our local language. Little did she know that scores of other refugees were also seeking education for their children. Kamisa asked to volunteer at Torit Primary School. In, in July last year, 12 was where I was employed to be a teacher under window trust. Despite the 35 to 1 teacher pupils ratio, Kamisa now struggles to handle a class of 270 children in primary one alone, teaching them in Arabic and English the languages they understand best. It costs my time because sometimes I will not complete the lesson because uh, there are others who even don't know why they are there. Dennis Mbaguta, the camp commander, says Kemisa's initiative has attracted 14 other refugee teachers. Students are getting education, but also the teacher-pupil ratio is very low. Actually, some, the teachers are very few compared to the, the, the pupils they, they teach. So these ones, they come a long way actually to help us. Imvepi refugee settlement has more than 13,200 children with only 18 early childhood development centers and 14 primary schools. Baguta says many schools are congested because of the few early childhood development centers, but efforts are underway to decongest them and also help the children recover from the trauma of war. And uh, because there was no ECD, they came to, okay, they congested in these ones and these classrooms. And some of them are actually young, too young to be in that class P1. So they needed a pre-primary school and ECD, which luckily has been provided by A to Z. After experiencing uh, such trauma, um, it's important that they have uh, counsellors who can really be there, who can understand their situation, who can support them, and also to be able to reach out to ensure that they have, that they know that they are supported and are in, a, again, in a protective environment. As Kemisa continues to offer education to fellow refugees, she hopes the situation in her country gets better soon. <laughs>